what's going on guys my name is lane today we're doing a realistic rebuild of the denver broncos in madden 21 another team i'm very interested in doing because they have drew lock at quarterback they drafted jerry judy they drafted kj hamler so they're giving them some weapons do have to work in the offensive line i'll give you that we do have rise there we have glags go but everyone else i mean juan james not great but on defense, we got some players. We got Von Miller, Bradley Chubb, Simmons. We have Casey, Boye, Callahan. But a lot of those guys are getting up there in age, so we are going to have to address that. But let's get right into it. Let's go to the playoffs. We missed the playoffs in the first year. That makes sense, though. The Chiefs aren't out of it. Whoa. The Raiders, Chiefs, and Chargers all went 9-7. and seven. I doubt it. We went 5-11. and 11. That's all right. Drew Locke, about 4,000 yards, 29 and 12. I like to see that. Lindsey, 619 with eight. Gordon, six. Freeman, five. Receiving Sutton, 1,200 yards, six touchdowns. Judy, 1,000 with 11. Noah Fan, 658 with four. Hamler, six, or 465 rather, with two. On defense, Johnson, 104 tackles. They got his face in the game for once. 101 for Davis, 100 for Jackson. Sack totals, eight for Casey, seven for Miller, six for Todd Davis. Interceptions, two for Callahan, two for Boye, and a few ones to go around. Yearly Awards, what do we got? Ryan Tannehill with the MVP. We'll just let that sit there for a second. What are you talking about? Coach of the Year, Sean McVay? Ah, uh, we want AFC Offensive Player of the Year. Drew Locke is not up there. Defensive Player of the Year, maybe Miller? Nope, there is nothing. Offensive Rookie. I mean, yeah, Judy has to be up there, number five. I thought maybe Hamler would be up there. Defensive Rookie of the Year, Patrick Queen. Makes sense. Now, I did mess with the XP sliders just a little bit from the last video. Five for Locke. I like that. Superstar in 10 for Judy. All right. Hamler has six. Awesome. Three for Rise there. Noah Fan has four as well. On defense, three for Chubb, two for Simmons. And that's going to be about it. The Cowboys beat the Browns 21 to 10. Interesting. Let's see. Who do we have to resign? Simmons for sure. Lindsay, they probably will. Anybody else? Covington, I don't think so. Tim Patrick, we don't need. We're so loaded at receiver now. So just Lindsay and Justin Simmons? And we have a good amount of money. So let's pay Simmons long term. I feel like he got a long term contract. I'm not sure what it is, though, to be completely honest with you. Let's go for 3.8 for Lindsay. Not interested. Well, how's the franchise tag? So we still have $29 million in cap space. Let's see what's going to be here. David Bakhtiari. Really? Marcus Williams, we don't need. Keanu Neal would be interesting. Do we add him to the team? Even though we have Kareem Jackson, but he's 33 years old. Neal is 26. Anybody else I want to get? I don't think so. So yeah, let's bring in Keanu Neal. 95 points from the Pats. Let's just see what this does. Base level 93. I almost want to not do that and go Bakhtiari. That would help our team probably more than... Yeah, but Keanu Neal will be more of a long-term thing. So let's go 5-5. Five, five. Let's go 4.5. 49.8 beats the Pats by 3. Works perfectly for me. Let's advance the week. I imagine we're going to get him. Really? Why not? I honestly didn't think I'd see that. I thought that was a slam dunk. All right, let's go to the draft. The football team has the first overall pick. And we have the seventh overall pick. Oh, that quarterback looks pretty good, but we don't need that. Free safety, we don't need, even though their scheme fits. We could use a middle linebacker. They're not scheme fits, which has me a little concerned. They do both look like beasts, though. Uh, what else? We could use a guard for sure. Late first, we could probably wait on that for the second round. A corner in Floyd. Oh, there's a lot of great prospects up here. We don't... Uh, we do need an end, let's be fair. But I don't think we're going to go with an end. Let's just get it out there. Late first, maybe Price is there in the next round. What about Shepard? Late second. Oh, it says second. Right over my head. We don't need an outside linebacker quite yet. What about Dupree mid first? I think what we're going to do is either go Kildred. No, Ramsey? Is it Ramsey or Kildress? 
Oh, it's either or. I kind of want to go with the middle linebacker, Kildris. Yeah, let's go with him. He's a 77 normal development, 92 speed, 85 tackles, 76 block shade, 81 hip power. Now, we could go with a running back without a combine who's a mid first and Patrick, not Patrick Queen, Philip Lindsay on the franchise tag. Or we could go with the corner. And I think I am going to go with Ellington. He's a 74 normal, not great, 77 break tackle, 90 speed, 91 acceleration, 90 agility. Wow, we got lucky there with Buckhalter. Let's take him. He's a 72 normal development, 90 speed, 72 man, 65 zone, 74 play rec. So our team basically looks the same, except we have Muti starting a left tackle as star development. Then we have our rookie middle linebacker starting, which is awesome. So let's go to the playoff. We didn't make the playoffs yet again. Let's see if the division is just as interesting. It is not. The Chiefs 10 and 6, Raiders 8, 7, and 1, the Chargers 6, 9, and 1, and we went 4 and 12. I mean, Drew Luck, you gotta step up. 3,700 yards, 20 and 11 is not great. Lindsey 580 with 5, Melvin Gordon with 7, Freeman with 1. Uh, why did I go to blocking? Receiving. Sutton 1,000 with 10, Hamler 750 with 3, Noah Fan 680. Judy, 603 with two. Gordon, two. On defense, Kildris, 127 tackles, 104 for Joel. Sack totals, 11 half for Miller, three and a half for KC. Interceptions, three for Jackson, one for Joel, Buck Coulter, Simmons, and Boye. It's kind of unbelievable that we're four and 12. Cam Noon with the MVP. Talk about unbelievable. Any Broncos, though, Trubisky on the Saints. Coach of the year, Mike McCarthy. We would not be up there. AFC Offensive Player, Baker wins it. Christian Gore, okay. Defensive Player of the year, Tremaine Edmonds. No, nobody from our team. Offensive Rookie. No Broncos. Defensive Rookie, our middle linebacker is going to take it home. Buck Halter at five. And that is going to be it. Let's go take a look at our XP. I have to get used to it going back there. I imagine we have a good amount. Four for Locke gets him up to a 79 overall. Four for Sutton. Four for Judy. Three for Hamler. We have four for Muti. Four or two, rather, for Reisner. I can read. On defense, our middle linebacker with four gets him up to an 81 overall. Four for Chubb. Two for Simmons. The Jaguars dominated the Rams 21 to 7. I didn't think I'd see the Jaguars up there basically at all. Sutton, we're going to bring back. Chubb, we're going to bring back. Joel we're going to bring back? And maybe Duke Dawson? So I have the franchise tag Bradley Chubb, which is unfortunate. But I, yeah, I guess we should bring back Von Miller. Let's increase the money so he doesn't walk away. Not interested. Great. $80 million in cap space. And Derwin James is up there who is a scheme fit. You bet. Better believe he's coming to my team. We're going to overpay him to make sure it happens. $127 million over six years. I mean, that's easy. Slam dunk. You don't pass up on that. Two years for Von Miller. Why not? I wouldn't mind Orlando Brown. Not a scheme fit, though. Do we bring in like a Calais Campbell for one year? Why not? I feel like other than the offensive line, we're pretty good to go. Which kind of makes me want to make a move on Orlando Brown. I'm not going to lie. So let's go up here. Let's go 6-5. Let's go 8.1 for the signing bonus. 100 total points beats out the Cardinals by three. Who could definitely use an offensive lineman. Let's advance to week two. We got Miller. We got Campbell. We got Brown. We got James. Awesome. Look at this right end. Ben Ventura. I'm going to take him. We have the third overall pick. He's a 78 with hidden development. Ranked fifth. 78 power moves, 64 finesse, 84 speed, 86 acceleration. So we can either go Shaq Porter, which we don't exactly need, or we can go with the center and Chuck Thomas. And I think we're going to go Thomas. He's a 73 normal development, 88 strength, 73 run block, 79 pass block. So the offensive line is coming along nicely. I like it a lot. I mean, Drew Locke doesn't have a great running back anymore, but he still has great receivers. Not on defense. We're looking as good as we're ever going to look. And Ventura's starting a defensive tackle. I do like that. I was thought about trading away Casey. I still kind of want to. 
Let's put him on the trade block just to see what the offers are, but we need help at corner big time. Yeah, nobody wants him. That's all right. Let's go to the playoffs. We missed the playoffs yet again, going 4-12. The Raiders won the division at 11-5. Chiefs 9-6-1 and, and the Chargers 7-8-1. Drew Locke, 4,000 yards, 22-12. We probably have to change the playbook, I assume. Ellington 638 with three, Goodson with six, Sutton about 1200 yards, three touchdowns, Fant 902 with two, Hamler 750 with five, Judy 537 with four. On defense, Kildress 130 tackles, sack total six and a half for Casey, six for Miller, five for Campbell, Ventura with three and a half, interceptions three for James, one for Dawson, Buck Halter, and Simmons. Now for the yearly awards, what do we got? Prescott with the MVP. You say so. No Broncos. Coach of the year, John Gruden. We wouldn't be up there. AFC Offensive Player of the Year. Nothing Defensive Player of the Year. Patrick Queen wins it. But Kildress all the way up at number six. Offensive Rookie Goodson at three. Defensive Rookie of the Year. Ventura at seven. Let's see what we have for XP and development. Three for Muti. Two for Riser. One for Brown. Three for Fant. Three for Judy. Three for Locke does get him up to an 82 overall, but let's see the defensive tackle. Where'd he go? Why is he not starting anymore? He has star development, six XP points. I suppose that's all right, but I thought he was starting. One for Simmons, two for Chubb, two for Derwin James, four for McDougal. I don't know what it's going to take to get us over the hump. I'm assuming a better quarterback, but I'm just going to stick with Drew Locke. The Panthers beat the Bills 31-28. Poor Bills fans can never get it done. Chubb's coming back. Riser's coming back. Jones, we don't need. Noah Fant, definitely. Drew Locke, we're going to bring back. I feel like John Elway is all in on Drew Locke. So unless Drew, I mean, I want to say unless Drew Locke underperforms, which he kind of is in this, but I don't think he's going to in real life. So we're going to ride him out. That sounds bad. We're going to ride it out and see how it goes. $18 million in cap space. And I don't know, Darius Slayton's up there. We don't need that, but you don't see that often. Matt Ioannidis would be interesting if he wasn't 29 years old. We do need help on the defensive line. I don't know if spending big on Quinn and Williams is really a great idea. 95 total points. Brian Burns is up there, but he's not a scheme fit. I'd like to find as many scheme fit guys as I can going forward. So hopefully that'll work out for us. It's either we don't get anybody or we try to bring in Quinn and Williams. So 95 points by the Bengals. I can't imagine this will be... Oh, it is. It's 98 points. And he turned us down. Great. Let's go to the draft. We have the first overall pick. I'll take that any day of the week, even though I'm probably going to trade back. Let's trade back to where in 23. Let's trade back to pick... Six. Because well, we don't need a quarterback. A trade coming here. I don't know if the 49ers will be trading up to get a quarterback. Six. Oh, they are. And, and Jaden Smith. Interesting name. The Broncos uh, let's the see board. what's on the board at pick number six. I'm trying to think. Like, we could use a defensive tackle to be fair. We could take an end and then put Ventura back to defensive tackle like he was last year. But what I really want to find is a corner. So we might as well just go straight to corner. Do we go with a Kai Matthews in the late first so maybe he can fall? Late first with a combine. You know I love those, but I don't think that's going to be the answer. So we're going to hope one of those guys fall to the second round. That's our only option. We do have two second round picks. There's a second round pick this year. So what I'm going to do, I'm not exactly sure to be honest. Because I think our offensive line is set. We could use a middle linebacker, but another late first. I don't want one of those. Do we go Nick Kincaid and keep Ventura at his actual position? Is that a bad idea? I don't think so. But I kind of hate the idea of taking a defensive tackle at sixth overall. But I think that is going to be the move. Let's take him. Nick Kincaid. 77 normal development. 96 strength, 74 block shed, 72 power moves, 71 finesse. So all of those corners are gone, which is unfortunate. And I'm, oh, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. What is this? We're going Luke Matthews. 76 normal development. 
82 tackle, 83 hit power, 86 speed, 88 acceleration. With our other second round pick, we're going running back Tracy Matthews. He's a 76 with hidden development. He's not a scheme fit though. 80 break tackle, 90 speed, 92 acceleration, 88 agility. So Matthews is our starting running back, which I love. So we're looking good in the offensive line, receivers, basically everything on offense. Then on defense, really nothing to complain about other than corner. We unfortunately missed the playoffs yet again, going 4-12 again. Wow. Raiders 9-6-1, the Chargers 9-7, and, and the Chiefs 8-8. Eight eight. I don't know what we have to do better. I mean, Locke played better, 4,100 yards, 31-11. and 11. I love that. Matthew 737 with 10, 1 for Ellington. Sutton, 1,300 yards, 14 touchdowns. Hamler, 900 with 7. Noah Fant, 760 with 3. 7 for Jerry Judy. On defense, Kildris, 108 tackles. Sack totals, 13.5 for Miller, 10 for Chubb, 9 for Ventura, 4.5 for Joel. Interceptions, 2 for Michael Ojumina. Probably said that wrong. Definitely said that wrong. But a lot of ones to go around. MVP Patrick Mahomes, Trubisky number two, of course. No Broncos. I thought Locke might be up there. Coach of the year, Zach Taylor, AFC offensive player. Really? He's not up there? Defensive player, Miles Jack. We Nope, we're not the Steelers. We have Von Miller at five. Offensive rookie, Tracy Matthews. That's good. Defensive rookie of the year, Kincaid at three. And Matthews at eight. Let's see the XP in development. Matthews has six with star development. Three for lockup to an 85 overall. Three for Muti. Two for Brown. Three for Jerry Judy. Kincaid got four up to an 81. Three for Ventura up to an 87. Man, we have to get better at corner. I just, just nothing there so far. The Cowboys beat the Browns 28 to 24. Now, Jerry Judy is going to be a free agent. Hamler. Mutie's going to be up there. We're going to bring back Judy, Muti, Hamler, Kusenberry, Michael Ojomanita. I don't know how to say that still. I imagine we don't have a ton of money. 37.2 after paying Judy. So I'm just going to franchise tag Von Miller because we're not going to have any money for free agency anyways. So let's just go to the draft. Now we have the first overall pick and the 10th overall pick. And we almost have to take a corner, so I guess we should look around just in case there's a better one like Pinkins. You know, I'm just going to go straight to corner. Let's just not mess around anymore. Let's check out Trevor Dunn really quickly. He's a mid-first round guy. Yeah, we're going to go Pinkins and then probably Tally with our next pick. 79 hidden development. 90 speed, 79 man, 73 zone, 77 play rack. Now the corners are gone, but look at Curtis Bankston. I have to take him third in the 40 and the bench press first in the 20 yard. 77 normal development, 77 power move, 67 finesse, 82 speed, 84 acceleration. So we have an 89 overall team, 92 offense, 87 defense, locks at 85, Matthews 83, sudden up to X factor. The offensive line almost 80s or above. So we should be good there. Then on defense, I'll give it to you. Our corner is very weak. Middle linebackers are good. Safeties are great. Defensive line, I am absolutely in love with. Can we just do better than 4-12? I mean, is that so much to ask? And we missed the playoffs again. How did we do? 2-14, what a joke. What an absolute joke. Lock, 3,800 yards, 30-15. and 15. Matthew, 700 with 11 touchdowns. Sutton, 1,000 with 6. Hamler, 923 with 9. Judy, 580 with a 2 for Fan, 3 for Ellington. On defense, Kildris, 130 tackles, 120 for Joel, 117 for Pinkins, the rookie. Sack totals, 9 for Ventura, 7 for Miller and Bankston. Interceptions, 2 for Simmons, Joel, James, Pinkins. I mean, Pinkins was an absolute beast. Dak Prescott with the MVP. Like, what are we talking about? No Broncos. Coach of the year, Sean Payton. AFC Offensive Player, Locke, nowhere to be found. Defensive Player of the Year, Josh Usay, I like that a lot. Kildress at nine. Offensive Rookie, Leach at two. Carroll at five. Defensive Rookie, Pinkins, Bankston, two. Woodston at six. Let's take one final look at the XP, the developments, all that. Three for Judy is going to be a 98. Locke's going to finish as an 86. I mean, the offensive line is so good. I just don't get it. Pinkins with superstar. Ventura's up to superstar. 
This is all a shame. Shame, shame, shame. We ended up as a 90 overall team, 92 offense, 89 defense, and didn't even sniff the playoffs. I mean, what a joke. Maybe it'll get better. They'll update the game and all that, but that's just disgusting. But hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. If you want to support me on Patreon, patreon.com slash headstronggaming. Pledge $5 a month, you get an exclusive realistic rebuild video a week. So that's four videos a month for $5. But I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Thank you to my Patreon producers for the month of August. We have Zach, we have the oldest man alive, Greg, hashtag Team Relic, Nathan, Broadway, Bob, and Harney B. It means the world to me. Thank you guys so much.